in a standard form using the loss of exponents. So we have some of the, one of the example. So here one example, here one example. This is the largest number we have taken. For example, the smallest number. So we need to represent this the largest number in a standard form using the loss of exponents. And there, the smallest number, that smallest number, we need to represent the standard form using the loss of exponents. The same thing. So here, same thing is the distance from the Earth to Sun is 149,600,000 million in the international system. So 149 million billions, 149 billions and 600 billions meters the distance from Earth to Sun. So that the size of plant cell is 0.00001275 so millimeters so we need to find out uh, in standard form that one so here let's see let's take the first example we have a number of these 149 billion six billion so let's find this 149 into so 149 so 1496 that is 1496 because there is a there is here 1496 remaining all the zeros are present so we can write as 10 power 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 10 to the power of 8 meters so what we have done is Suppose there is 200, for example, let us take 200. So 200 can be written as 2 right separately. In expanded form, how would we represent the form we are writing? Expanded form equals 2 into 100. So 2 into 100 is 2 into 10 power 2. So because we have two zeros here, two zeros present. So 2 into 10 power 2 equals the similar manner. We have taken 1496, 1496 into there are how many zeros we counted? 6 raised to 8. So 10 power of 8 we have written using this example. Expanded form. After that, as a power we have raised. So 2 into 10 power 2. This example, using this example, we have solved. So 1496 into 10 power 8. Because there are 8 zeros present in this. So we counted. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so 10 power 8, so this one, let's take the standard form, and this, this is the largest number, it's looking like very largest number, so uh, we need to make it a small number, so let's take one of the decimal place here, let's take a decimal place here, nothing means 1, 4, 9, 6, 0 into 10 power 8 it is so because this is what 1496.0 is nothing but 1496 we take uh, 1.0 this can be written as 1 so there is no val value of uh, uh, digit after uh, the value of the point after this one point we have a number it doesn't have any value uh, so if it is 0 it doesn't have a value of it uh, 0 0.0 it becomes 1 same as using this example we have taken 0, 0.0 so so it's looking like big number so let's take this this one place to 1 2 3 decimal places after let's take uh, from here 1 2 3 3 decimal places so to change that one into 3 decimal places it's becoming small number Smaller. How many times it's becoming smaller? It's three times because three decimal places we are changing. So it becomes into three. So three decimal places. So if we take one four one thousand four ninety-six and at the, after the decimal place, after one we have taken this this decimal place we jump to this here, three decimal places. So it becomes here ten power eight into 
plus reason of 10 power 3 here. We have taken this decimal place too. After left hand side of the number of 3 decimal places we have jumped to left hand side. 1, 2, 3. That is the reason we have taken multiplied by 10 power 3. So it will be balanced. So 10 power 8 is same, common. It's the same thing. So if we multiply 10 power 3 into this number, then it becomes 1496. It's balanced. So that is the reason it comes here. So using the loss of exponents, there is a rule a power n into a power n. It's a power n plus n. So 1.496 into 10 power 8 plus 3 is 11. We have added the exponents because the bases are same. 8 plus 3 is 11. So the distance from earth to sun is 1.496 into 10 to the power of 11 meters. So we, we represented in standard form. So using the loss of exponents. Let's go to the next example. It's the smallest number. The size of plant cell is 0.00001275 milliliters. So let's write uh, this one as uh, standard form. So we know that if it is a decimal place, we change into a fraction. So let's change this as a fraction. So it becomes 1, 1275 divided by. So there are how many decimal places? Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8, 5 plus 3, 8. There are 8 zeros we get there. 3 plus 2, 5 plus 3, 8 decimal places we get. So here the 8 decimal places. That's the reason here. We get 8 zeros uh, of that number. So for example, we take here 0 0.7. 7 by 10 because there is one decimal place after point. Uh, after the decimal place, there is one digit, one number. So it becomes 10 divided by 10. 2, it becomes 100. Similarly, here, 8 decimal places, we will write 8 zeros of it. 1, 1, 0, 2, 2, 0. A similar pattern, we have taken 8 zeros there. So we know that we have used the same concepts of zeros, writing zeros. 1275 divided by 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 zeros. So 10 power 8 we can write. 10 to the power of 8. So this is can be written as 1, 2, 7, 5, 1275. 1275 into 1 by 10 power 8. Because just can be separated and we written 1 by 10 power 8 separating we have written we don't know the root of loss of x points that is 1 by 8 to the power of n that can be written as 8 to the power of minus n so we know 1 to 1275 into 10 to the power of minus n so we know that we need to write this one to this uh, largest number so the smallest number we have represented as the largest number here 1275 to 10 to the power of minus 8. Let's compare two values using the loss of exponents. We know that we we'll take the one larger value and smaller value, we we'll compare that. So, here when we compare two values, let's we'll take one example compare the size of red blood cell, compare. The size of red blood cell is 0 0.00007 meters and to that the plant cell which is 0 0.00001275 meters so red blood cell is this one and the uh, plant cell is 0.00001275 meters so we have taken the two values one is larger value and one is smaller value this is the larger and this smaller we are comparing this larger value and smaller value this both and these are both are meters so when we write this one in standard form it becomes we know that 7 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so 
because there are six zeros there. So that seven by ten power six will write. And then we know that we take this to the numerator part. It becomes seven into ten to the power of six. It's minus six. Let's recall this represented as a fraction. So there are after the point how many decimal places we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six decimal places we have. So that's the reason we have taken six zeros there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six zeros we have taken. Thereafter, this is written as exponent form, 10 power 6. And this is taking the numerator part. It becomes negative value using the 1 by 8 power n is equal to 8 to the power of minus n using the root 10 power minus 6 we call. So the value of this red cell is 10, 7 into 10 to the power of minus 6. So let's compare with the plant cell. Plant cell is so 1275 divided by. So let's see how many decimal places we have after the zero. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we get 8 zeros after 1. 8 zeros. So we know that we write this one in 1, 2, 7, 5. 10 power 8 because there are 8 decimal places we have after the Okay. After the point we have 8 decimal places. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 10 power 8. So 10, 8 zeros, 10 power 8 we have written. So let's take this one to the numerator. It becomes 1, 2, 7, 5 into 10 power minus 8. We go in that. So there is looking a larger number still. So we rewrite a decimal place. We learned about the concept previously. So we take three decimal places, so 275, then 10 power minus 8 into 10 power 3 we get. So when we multiply with 10 power 3, we get three decimal places. When we multiply this whole, then we get the same answer here. Yeah. We took 10 power 3 there and uh, three decimal places we have taken. So what we will balance? Let's see, three decimal places and 10 power 3. So when we simplify this one, we get 1.275 into a power m into a power m a power m plus a it is 10 power minus 5 we get because minus a plus 3 is minus 5 so we have written that so we have taken the red red cell and plant cell red red cell and plant cell so we need to compare these both the values comparison is nothing but uh, division of the two quantities so let's divide this both. So red red cell and plant cell. Red blood cell and plant cell. So here red red cell is we know that 7 into 10 to the power of minus 6 and plant cell is plus in plant cell is 1.275 into 10 to the power of minus 5 so we can observe there is 10 power minus 6 and 10 power minus 5 so we can use the root of a power n by a power n so a power n minus n let's use this so and we use this a power n by a power n we can 7 by 1.275 so a power n by a power n is a power n minus n that is we get 10 power minus 6 minus minus 5 so a power n by a power n a power n minus n so we get here 7 by 1.275 10 into 10 power minus 6 plus 5 because minus into minus it becomes like 6 plus 6. So 10 into 7 into 10 power minus 1 by 1.275. So 10 power minus 1 is nothing but 0.1. So 7 into 0.1 by 0 0.1. So this is 1.275. And so 
0.7 by 1.275. So let's try this value. So 0 0.7. Let's try this same as it is. Let's try that value here. So, so we'll take some space here. So 0.7. Write the 0 0.7, same as it is, and this can be written as 1.3 because 1.275. 1.275 will write as uh, here. Let's write this upside. It's love. 0.7 by 1.3. 1.3. So we have taken here 1.275, approximately 1.3. So when we multiply 10 by 10. We'll be getting 7 by 30. So approximately we take this value. If we go 7 by 14, approximately we are taking this value. So we find out. So it becomes 1 by 2. So what we understood here is when we compare these two numbers, we got 1 by 2. They are the ratio of 1 by 2. 1 is to 2. So red blood cell and plant cell. So 1 by 2 we got, first we have solved this work and after we simplified this part we went to just here and because of the space we went to we it here first we have solved there and after we solved this one the third part but we have written here so this is a comparison of red blood cell and the plant cell